One of the few things I didn't cover after the Shroom and Doom update for Grounded a few months ago was taming pets. The reason was because I found pets to be too much work to keep them safe and happy for the small bonus they provide. While pets do provide a status effect if they are nearby, at this point they are more of a cosmetic bonus in my opinion. Today, however, I'm happy to say that I've found the best place to tame and keep your pets safe and happy in Grounded. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. So first things first is how do you actually tame pets? In order to be able to even tame pets, you're going to have to complete the Haze Lab. The Haze Lab is down here, right here. As you can see, I've completed it. There is a chip inside the Haze Lab. It was moved after the Shroom and Doom update. So the Shroom and Doom update opened up the Haze Lab and the chip was inside of there. The chip has now been moved because the Haze Lab has been expanded upon. So you have to grab that chip and you'll have to take it to Burgle. Once you take it to Burgle, he will allow you to purchase the advanced building productions. And I think that costs about 2,500 raw science. And that will give you access to the oven, which you see here, the grinder, as well as mushroom slurry and plant slurry. So once you've crafted those, and we'll just show you real quick. To craft this, you're going to need 10 clay, one charcoal chunk, and four boiling or four boiling glands. Clay is very easy to get. Boiling glands you get from bombardier beetles. And then the charcoal chunks you find over by the grill. If you're not familiar with where to get those, I will leave a link for that down in the description below. I have a video that shows you exactly where they are. There's currently four in the game. They should be there at the start, and then they do respawn periodically over time. And then to make the grinder, you're going to need crow feathers, acorn shells, flower petals, and bombardier parts. The only thing that could be a little bit tough here is crow feathers, but crow feathers have been made much easier to get now after the hot and hazy update. So they should be pretty easy to make a grinder or two. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to deposit things into the grinder. So you can deposit a couple different things. You can put toadstool chunks, so you can chop down the toadstools, which we'll show you here. I recommend using the toadstools because these will give you 10 slurry. There's also mushroom chunks, which come from the big brown mushrooms. And then you can also put mushrooms in there and they will give you, so the toadstools will give you 10 mushroom slurry. The, the big mushroom chunks will give you, I think six. And I think the little ones only give you one or two. You can also put plant fiber in there to make plant slurry. You can also put clovers in there, I believe, and sprigs, and they will turn into plant fiber, which then turns into plant slurry. So it's more efficient just to put the plant fiber in there. Plant fiber is, or the plant slurry is used to tame the aphids, and the mushroom slurry is used to tame the weevils. You also need to feed them those after they become your pets. Then you're also going to need the pet house. In order to get the pet house, you're going to have to make mushroom bricks, and you're going to have to analyze a mushroom brick. So basically, you make, you take the mushroom slurry, put it into the, you should have mushroom slurry in here now. Okay, so we'll take that. You take the mushroom slurry, you plop it in here, and you can make yourself mushroom bricks. So we'll just do that. And as you can see, it costs five mushroom slurry to make two bricks. Once you have the bricks, take them over to a field station and analyze them. That will give you the ability to build yourself a pet house. The pet houses, I think they're fairly inexpensive. Two weed stems, one acorn shell, four mushroom bricks, and two crow feathers. So you'll have to have, you'll have to have that because you will see you can actually deposit your pets in here. And as you can see, here's my pet right here. It tells you all the stats. So the stats you're going to be worried most about. Personality, I don't think really matters. Honestly, I've had to retain this guy a couple times because he just decided he didn't. I don't know. He glitched out and wasn't assigned to the house, even though he was happy. And his personality changed each time. I think he was hateful. Then he was, I can't even remember what the other ones were. It was hateful something and then genius. So he's had four different personalities, same Weevil, because I put the little helmet on him so I wouldn't lose him. And then you mainly want to worry about his happiness. So they can be happy, I think meh or sad. Once they become sad, they will end up just leaving. Here's going to tell you how long it's been your pet and how many times you petted it. This pet has been my pet for much longer than this. It's I've kept it alive for probably at least three weeks in game. What ends up happening though is if for some reason you'd forget to feed them or pet them, or if they just randomly decide to not be assigned to the house, even if they're still your pet, it resets this time. So this guy's been my pet for I don't know how long. I got him on my stream. I've had him for at least 20 in-game days. So these should be done, right? So we'll just take these and we will put the put these in there because we're going to need those because we're going to tame an aphid. So basically what happens is in order to tame them, you're just going to have to feed them. Now, I will tell you up front that there's no guarantee that feeding an aphid or a weevil, the slurries, will actually make them your pet. I've had sometimes, like this guy, I think I fed him like three or four and he just became my pet pretty easily. And every time I've had to retame him for whatever reason, he's just ate a couple and became my pet. There's been others that I fed six, eight, twelve slurries and for some reason they just don't care. They're just never going to be your pet. So don't if you have that situation, just go find yourself another one. Now, you might be asking, well, what's the best place to do this? Now, when I first did it, I had my little trap set up over here where I just got tons of aphids and weevils. I ended up taming both of them, one of each, just for the achievement. And then I tried to keep them alive. So I fenced them in. 
And what ends up happening is I've noticed that if they get fenced in and can't move around freely, or if for some reason you get they get stuck in the house. So I think what happened a couple times was I I he snuck in behind me in here and I walked out and shut the door behind me. He was stuck in my house. When I came back, he had been he was still my pet, but he was unassigned from the house because he was sad. So you want to make sure they can travel freely. So fencing them in, not a good idea. That's why I'm going to recommend that you, if you want a pet, the best and safest play to get place to get it is over here on Aphid Island. That's where I am right here. This is where I built my house in my new survival world. It is completely safe over here because there's no red ants to attack the weevils. There are no ladybugs to attack the aphids. Nothing can get over here because it's completely separated from the land. The only thing that comes over here that's dangerous is going to be mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, I have never seen a mosquito intentionally attack an aphid or a weevil. I'm sure they could probably hit them if they're trying to hit you and accidentally hit them. So they'll be safe. Now, the downside is going to be that they're not going to follow you around the map. So let's see if I actually have the status effect right now. Oh, maybe it's max health. Okay, so maybe the weevils give you max health and the aphids give you max stamina. We're going to tame an aphid just to see. So what you're going to do is you're going to find one that's walking around on the ground. The weevils are a super easy because they were not afraid of you. The aphids will literally just flee as soon as they see you. So let's see if we can find a aphid that's just sitting on the ground and drop it food. Or if we can find one that's sitting on a leaf that's not too high up. That is going to be the easiest way to tame it. So this one's not that high up. So if I knock it down, it should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop all this on the ground right here. And we're going to punch it down and run away. We'll see if it eats it. Now it went up another grass stem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and hope that one of them walks up to it. Here comes one right here. We're just going to back off. It saw us and now it's afraid. So basically, the it's going to be much easier to get a weevil. And if you have to retain it, it's going to be much easier because they don't walk up on top of the grass planks. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just sit here and wait and see if one of them walks up to it because there's no easy way to get it. we got to kind of stay at a distance. Then once it eats a bunch of them, then we can go up. So this one looks like he's eating. Okay, this one's eating it right here. Perfect. So after he eats a bunch of them, we'll approach him. I'm going to let him eat all of them. And he already ran away. You can see how quickly they just dip out. So did he eat any of them? He ate one of them and left. Now he's coming back again. Hopefully, we're going to let him eat as many as he wants. Then we're going to go over and try to see if we can pet him. And then we'll see what status effect he gives. I think he gives max, I think if he gives max stamina while the weevil gives max health. I think that's what they are. Did he become my pet? Okay, so he became my pet. You can see right there, he's got a little icon over him. So we should be able to pet him. And there we go. We got the pet. So now all we have to do is... Take him over. Now he's happy. We can name him. You have to get the house to name him. So that was actually super easy. He only ate, I think, two of these before. So basically, just go over here. You're going to deposit the pet. Here's our aphid. Uh, I think I have an armor somewhere. And what are we going to name him? We'll just name him name Allie. Allie the aphid. Enter. Close. Now let's make sure the name changed. The name did change. I do believe I have... I might have pet armor inside here. You can make pet armor. Maybe it's in here. Might have to make it. You don't have to put pet armor on it, but it's very simple to craft. Oh, I can make goggles for him. I'll probably put the goggles on him. Goggles look pretty cool on her. So we will do this, I believe. So we can pet, pet the aphid. It's basically the same process. You're going to make sure you feed them and pet them every couple of days. You can go over here and equip the pet attire equip done now your pet has that i don't think it gives him any armor bonus but as you can see adding these icons was super useful it's much easier to see them now because in like imagine being on this island with all these weevils and aphids and having to figure out which chirp is your aphid and which where which little honk or whatever the noise is is your weevil walking around so yeah so i would definitely recommend if you want to get a pet if you're into the pets and we didn't check the status Aphid Island is going to be your best bet. So now we have max stamina again. Do we have max stamina? We already have max stamina on. Oh, it's micro stamina. That's what the buff is. So I have no idea what that is. I don't even know if it says it in the over here for effects, does it? Maybe it just gives you bonus stamina. So one gives you stamina. I guess the other one gives you health. That's the best way to tame pets and keep them safe and happy and grounded. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.